Cool, another guy named Heisenberg. So if you ever get a chance to study uh, some of the guys and some of the stories that come out of quantum physics and stuff, some are pretty interesting. So Heisenberg, um, guess where he was from? Germany. Germany, and guess what project he headed up for Hitler? Yeah, atomic bomb program for Germany that was never successful. Some people think he kind of like thwarted the program and didn't want Hitler to succeed, so who knows? Um, I read a story on account of one spy who was sent in to find out what Heisenberg knew and if he knew too much to kill him, and he didn't get killed. So, um, But one of his big claims to fame is the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. So what Heisenberg said is that when you're looking at the atomic level, so like, for instance, an electron, you can't know the uncertainty in its position and the uncertainty in its momentum with infinite precision, with infinite precision. So it turns out the minimum, if you multiply their uncertainties together, the minimum you're ever gonna have is Planck's constant divided by four pi. Sometimes we write that as h bar over two pi, but, or sorry, h bar over two, but h over four pi is how your book has it, so I'll write it that way as well. <clears throat> yeah, the uncertainty in the position and the uncertainty in the momentum. So notice position is where something's at. Momentum, what is momentum? Mass times velocity, so it's kind of related to where it's going, where it's headed. So in this case, if I turn the lights out in the room, will I be able to see you guys? Probably not, it can get pretty dark in this room. Um, so I won't be able to see you. So notice to see you, I only really see the photons being reflected off of you. That's what I really see. Without those photons, I can't see you. Same thing, if I wanna see an electron, what I'm really gonna see is a, a photon of light coming off that electron, that has bounced off that electron. And the problem is, is if that photon of light has bounced off that electron, but it might have... So not even only at a different place, but the photon actually might have imparted some momentum to that electron. And so, and the idea is this, if a photon has a certain wavelength associated with it and stuff like that, well, okay, I know the bigger, you know, bigger or shorter the wavelength, I get an idea, of, gives me an idea of where this electron is. If I use something with a really long wavelength, then I know less accurately where this electron is, but with a really long wavelength, it doesn't have as much energy, so it probably didn't give it as big of a momentum change. But if I use a really short wavelength, then I get a really more precise idea of where the location is, but it might have imparted a lot more momentum to the electron, so I have less of an idea of where it's going. So this is kind of the problem, the thought experiment he kind of played with. So, but it turns out at the quantum level, you can't know them with infinite precision, and the better you know one, the worse you know the other. So on the minimum of uncertainty in both combined, is h over 4 pi. Cool. You can do a quick simple plug and chug calculation with this, but at the very least you should definitely know it's about momentum, sorry, momentum and position, the uncertainty in both. It turns out there's an alternative way of looking at this and you can look at it in terms of the uncertainty in the energy of a system over a specific time duration and it works the same way. I've never seen it this way before until now, but the the top one you should definitely know. This one, uh, but the top one, it's all about momentum and position, the uncertainty in both.